Hi guys. My name, hi guys, my name is Christine and uh, I'm with you today with another set of examples. Um, today we have to explain the meaning and make sentences with five words. Our five words for today are exclaim, exclude, exclusive, expound and extricate. So let's start off with Arush. Arush, can you please introduce yourself, tell us a bit about your day and move on to today's topic, please. Yes, ma'am. My name is Arush Kumar. I study in class 6F. My school name is Delhi Public School, Ministry, Kolkata. And my favorite hobbies are playing, singing and dancing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. And can you tell us what um, can you um, what, what have you done with your day today? Yes, ma'am. Today, first I woke up in the morning at six o'clock. Then I went to school. Then I came back. Then I was playing for some time, and then I studied. Up. I don't know what is that. It's like uh, God related something. Then I joined the classroom. Okay, very good. In just a second, I need. Wait. Uh, my laptop browser has gone hang. Like my Zoom has only got hang. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, can you tell us what you did with your day today? No, I told. Okay. Okay, you're finished. Okay, because I thought you had more. Okay. Um, so, can you move on to the words, Arush? Yes, ma'am. The first word is exclaim. It is a verb and it means cry out suddenly in surprise, strong emotion or pain. And, and for this, uh, uh, my sentence is, well, I, I will never use those skills. I, I, I exclaim. Uh -huh. And okay. then the second, and then the second word is exclude. It is a verb, and it means that there is someone access to a place, group, or privilege. Uh -huh. And my sentence is: My friend was excluded because of the meeting. Okay. And then the third word is exclusive. It is an adjective and a noun, and an adjective. It means excluding or not admitting other things. Uh -huh. and, and now it means an item or story published or broadcast by only one source. So an adjective, my sentence is an using focus on success and making money. And in the noun, I don't have any sentence. You don't have any sentence for it? Yes, ma'am. Come on, try. Ma'am, I, I had also find out and... I also tried to make by myself. I could, but I could not. Okay. I expect you to try again. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, so the fourth word is expound. It is about... Next. Yes, ma'am. The fourth word is expound. And it means present and explain in detail. And uh, my sentence is, she was expounding a powerful, abusive language. Uh -huh. And then the last word, the last word is extricate. It is a verb and it means free from a constraint or difficulty. Uh -huh. And and for this my uh, sentence is I was trying to extricate by myself from from official duties. Done. Okay, very good. So exclusive. So exclusive should be really easy to do. Okay, so I want you to try it. Uh, there's a very exclusive hotel. Yes. See, very easy. Okay, so um, let's move on to Rashri and then we'll move on to Kushbu. So Rashri, can you please introduce yourself, tell us a bit about your day and then move on to today's words, please. Hello everyone, I'm Rashri from Bihar, working with NCW and with this. So my day was normal and weather is not good here. 
so we are facing lots of problem due to flood the whole india are facing so many problems regarding their health regarding their household facilities and also from the internet uh, accessibility action so there is a no network for uh, talking with anyone or anything so we just we just see them in in the tv on the tv and uh, in on the internet so all of them facing the problems so i'm just i'm just uh, sharing with you all requesting you all actually for uh, please pray for them for uh, live securely safety in their own personal space because the government and the administration both are the doing good work for them so yeah just a message for uh, everyone please uh, wish good for them and uh, pray for them actually for their health and the prosperity so move on the topic and the five words from your from this class for this class uh, the first word is exclaim second word is exclude third word is exclusive uh, fourth word is expound and the last word is ex extricate yeah extra okay so the meaning of this word is exclaim is a, it's a verb and the meaning of this word is to say something suddenly and loudly because you are surprised angry etc okay uh -huh. uh, it's a um, good expression or sometimes bad expression both okay because uh, when the people excited so anything anything you will talk uh, with anyone so the language of the communication is already your pitch is already is high okay because you are excited and you are happy so um, in my office the head members always exclaim the staff for any reason mostly they exclaim for the careless behavior in their work okay, okay. okay. and uh, the second word is exclude uh, the meaning of this word is uh, exclude it's a verb and to leave out okay or not include okay it's to me and uh, sentence of this word is after the implementation of gst so many companies exclude the different charges from their products okay and the second meaning of this word is to prevent somebody something from entering a place or taking part of part in something okay for this uh, the sentence is uh, in nasik city uh, i'm talking for the mumbai okay in mumbai there is a small uh, small city it's not small city uh, yeah shani shingna pursanapur is a small city actually huh? so basically this the, uh, the location of this uh, place is in nasik so i'm talking for this city nasik a city of india people exclude the women from the temple of the shani shingnapur only the men are allowed for uh, going for worship okay so women men are, are excluded excluded okay women are excluded from the temple okay and uh, only the men are allowed for the worshiping the god okay mm -hmm. yeah so the third word is exclusive and meaning of this word uh, it's a adjective and the meaning of this word is only to be used by or given to me one person group etc not to be shared okay and uh, mm, uh, it's the sentence of this word is in the gold showroom the makers always show uh, shown an exclusive pieces of their jewelry okay okay very good and uh, and uh, also the second sentence for this also the company provided an exclusive sale to their customers uh, yeah and uh, it's also a noun so um, the meaning of the, uh, this word is expensive and not uh, welcoming okay so people who were thought to be a lower uh, lower class yeah so the political leaders mostly using an exclusive hotel for their logistics Okay. Good. Okay. The fourth word is expound. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a verb, and uh, uh, meaning of this word is present and explain in detail. Okay. So after the implementation of any law, 
act policy related to public welfare our prime minister always expounding the presentation expounding the things uh, with their presentation in front of people and the fifth word is accelerate accelerate extricate extricate accelerate yeah so it's a verb and the meaning of this word is to manage to free somebody something from a difficult situation or position okay so um, i i was talking for the flood problem so i have sentence for the flood so the ndrf teams tried to execrate the people from extricate. their flight execrate x3 kate x3 kate yeah x3 extricate the people from the flood situation okay and uh, yeah over okay very good excellent okay um so let's move on to kushbu now hi kushbu Christine, good evening. Hi, Kishbu. So, Kishbu, can you please introduce yourself, tell us a bit about your day, and move on to today's topics? Yes. So the, hello, I am Kishbu. I lived in Kolkata, West Bengal, India. I, I have completed my Master of Science in Botany. I am the manager of LWT. Thank you. Today, I wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I finished my household chores, and then I cook to breakfast, and then make my children ready for the school. And after that, I'm free. And in the lunch time, I go went. Uh, I went outside. I went outside for the uh, for some work, or I met my friends there. So uh, in the evening, I came back, and then I take some rest. And after that, I joined your class. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so. Kushbu, um, you can start from the first word with meanings yes. and sentences. Yes. There are five words, exclaim, exclude, exclusive, expound and extricate. First word is the exclaim. It is verb. Cry out suddenly in surprise, strong emotion or pain. Next sentence of exclaim is the newspapers exclaimed against the government's action. Second word is the exclude. It is a verb. Deny someone access to a place, group, or privilege. Make sentence of exclude. The judges decided to exclude evidence. Third uh -huh. word is the exclusive. Third word is exclusive. Uh -huh. It is an adjective excluding or not admitting other things. And it is a noun also. An item or a story published or broadcast by only one source. Make sentence of exclusive is the hotel has exclusive access to the beach. Fourth word Very is the good. during uh, fourth word is the expound. It is a verb present and explain a theory or idea in detail. Uh -huh. Make sentence of expound is during his graduation speech that will expound his hopes. And last and fifth word is extricate. It is verb. Free someone or something from a constraint or difficulty. Next sentence of extricate is it took hours to extricate the car from the sand. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's uh, delve a bit deeper into these words. So, exclusive. Uh, what's an exclusive piece of news uh, today in India? Let's start from Rashri and then go on to Kushbu. If I'm talking for the exclusive piece, so mm -hmm. the the Kohinu diamond actually the exclusive piece for the India, and the, there is a so many um, heritage and the, so many uh, like temples are the exclusive for the India. Okay, if I'm talking for the exclusive uh, stadiums actually. So Sardar Vallabhai Patel uh, Stadium, it's in Gujarat. So so it's also a, it's a Asia's world, Asia's uh, biggest, 
biggest stadium in the in in our country in a world okay so it's there is a so many things in india for i'm talking for the india actually so um, exclusive temples exclusive because the because if i'm talking for the parliament new parliament so the the architectures are uh, in uh, architectures made so many things like from the ancient time to the current time okay everything everything in in the in their uh, creativity in their in their uh, architecture and everything so it was a very very good things for the india people because uh, not from the india it's all from the whole world people visit the india because the our culture the worship things and the everything so everyone if everyone thinking for the exclusive pieces or exclusive uh, the cult uh, related to the culture this exclusive for uh, itself also so yeah mm, this world is not for the things it's uh, it is only uh, it is uh, using for all the things related to um, whatever you want to describe in a in a beautiful manner so yeah okay very good excellent and kushbu what do you think for exclusive uh, i i have an exclusive idea for how to decorate my house mm -hmm. uh, is related to power to exclude limiting or limited to possession control or use by a single individual or group then we can say like that uh, i have mutually exclusive plans of action or maybe i have exclusive demand of uh, clothes or i want i i have a exclusive demand of diamond like this like that we can use this word okay yeah uh, i have an, an an exclusive diamond okay but what about exclusive piece of news in india at the moment what's what's an exclusive piece of news uh, exclusive piece of diamond news but news 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 yeah exclusive uh, demand like it's a uh, demanding news exclusive news everywhere what going what is going in the india or what is the government's plan or uh, you like say what is the or um, or what you have exclusive idea to how to uh, how to improve uh, improve government uh, plans okay okay interesting and what what do you think of when you think of extricate sorry extricate extricate so what does it make you think of the word extricate? Extricate, like uh, we, uh, like someone have a, uh, problems or maybe like a trap or a difficulty situation. Uh -huh. In India, a lot of people have extricate like uh, they have they have difficulty they are trapped by government's idea or or uh, trapped by uh, friends uh, idea don't have uh, any uh, don't have uh, uh, like uh, if you have uh, any uh, difficult position or situation maybe uh -huh. Uh, like my one friend is in the difficult position or situation after the uh, after the then when he, when he take the admission in iit or maybe he take the admission of engineering they don't have any um, they don't have any uh, uh, idea to how much is spend uh, how much money is spent there in in that government college or maybe uh -huh. private college but after after admission parents have a lot of extricate uh, or maybe a lot of problems that they they, uh, they have difficulties or, or situation when they took admission in the private college or engineering college uh -huh. maybe in india because there is in the private college there is a also you live uh, take private uh, uh, apartment or private rented uh, house or maybe you have uh, taken in the taken in the uh, what was hostel a girls hostel in the college also available there but they don't have idea uh, uh -huh. and after admission after they took admission they have a lot of extricate then he 
cut their admission from that uh, college and came back uh, with child to house. They came back. Uh, they they have a lot of extricate women's problem there or they face difficult uh, situation there. Their, that daughter or maybe the, the, their son. So you can use that word is extricate. Yes, so if someone's if someone's trapped, but do, what do you mean their daughter was trapped? What was it like trapped within? Trapped in the college, uh, what college have uh, don't have a, a hostel or they say like a yeah, hostel is good, food is also good, but they had a lot of problems. They face their, uh, uh, they face okay. their a good situation. Uh, so to uh, their, to, to, to save someone, to rescue. She was rescued. Yes, yes, rescued. And that boy is also, there is a school, there is a college, there is a ragging with boys and they can't uh, face that situation. That boy came back and they uh, they cut their name with that uh, college and they came back home. There is a no punishment for the ragging and that's why the yeah. whole, the, the children can't uh, tolerate all the things and because tolerate, the uh, ragging is, yeah, it's sense. very, don't very, very, very to see, bad. To, to don't have patience. Actually, mom and dad have don't have patience with their kids, you know. Uh -huh. And after admission, they get, they have a lot, uh, lot of problems that boys or that kids, uh, that boy. So they came back, they cut their admission from that college. Mm -hmm that boys trapped under the friends ideas or uh, extricate with their friends ideas okay interesting and rashri uh, what about you what does extricate make you think of yeah so i already prepared for the second sentence yes so in, you know, everywhere everywhere yeah everywhere people are facing from the so many problems okay so execrate is a also uh, i'm talking for this this word is uh, rescue from any situation okay rescue from any situation so the indian government always provide the bpl persons from their schemes okay providing so many different schemes related to their farming related to their health related to their old age pensions and uh, also for the middle age group for the related different different schemes okay so the scholarship in the in the colleges and the government colleges so all the things because everyone is not affording so many things uh, related to their finances situation so yeah the government are helping for everything okay so if you want to and there's so many coaching institutions like uh, they are providing the free coaching free coaching in their uh, in their colleges and with their institutes so they are all also feeling good and everything for good yeah so um, uh, for for me the second sentence is also for the in and everywhere people are facing from the water flood or the so many things so the government and the administration are trying to accelerating the people from their difficult situation because some people are lost their home due to the flood and uh, another different natural disasters okay very good and i believe we have anand with us hello anand anand are you there yeah, yeah, sorry. sorry 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 that's okay, okay. <laughs> so can you please introduce yourself tell us a bit about your day and uh, answer today's questions please yeah my name is anand kese i'm from rachi india and how was your day? What did you do today? Yeah, awesome and active also. Okay. And um, Anand, I'd like you to look at today's words and uh, give us the meaning and the sentence with each of these words. Okay. So we have explain. Uh, what's the word I... So exclaim, exclude. I'm going to send them to you on the chat. Exclaim, exclude, exclusive, expound, and extricate. So okay. I'd like you to give us the meanings and also a sentence from each. Uh... Uh, 
Any idea? Oh uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I'm typing. So. Oh, you can speak it. You can speak it. Okay, okay. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, exclude means uh, like uh, don't include uh -huh. another media and. Uh, Exclusive means uh, premium, like. Uh huh. Yes, it could refer to media. Yeah, expound. I have no idea, and extricate also have no idea, and exclaim, like. So. So to explain, yeah, explain. I have an idea, but um, not coming on my mouth. <laughs> like... Okay, so exclaim is like to shout almost. Okay, yeah. Anand, not not bad. Okay, so when you come to this class, um, the words will be given to you before, so you'll have more time to prepare. Okay, yeah. so make sure that you research the words and have some sentences ready, um, so that you will feel more comfortable. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, very good. And can you maybe give me one of those sentences? Can you give me a sentence with any one of those words? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you have a sentence? Uh, yeah. What's the sentence? I think we lost Ananda. Um, okay, Rashri, um, I'll go back to you. So Rashri, can you tell me what um, what has made, have you ever been excluded from anything? Yeah, so many things. Yeah, in my college, I was, I was, so Anand is something, saying something. Oh, yeah, Anand? Oh, yeah, the network is so, yeah. It's do you have anything that you'd like to share with us, Anand? Uh, no, ma'am, you can continue. Oh, okay, so Rashri, you can continue. Thank yeah. you. So I'm sharing with you, like I was in class six, okay, class six or seven. I don't know the exact the class uh, standard. So uh, I I want to I want to play the vocal, okay, uh, sitar, sitar, okay. And my teacher was very much strict. So that time I feel. Uh, how could I, I uh, fear my fear my fear in front of her? Okay, so that time I was very much scary. So she always take or took audition auditions for the uh, playing any any anything. So I was the I was used to just play the harmonium. Okay, like mm -hmm. Sare Gama Padanisa. So I I never used the sitar like the strings and anything so that time she's called me in front of the whole class like the 20 20 40 students so that time i was feel i felt very bad very bad but 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 after after that uh, i was uh, i just joined the music class and i just proved myself for i am good in uh, in the music class so there is a so i was playing the harmonium uh, in the music class and that time i proved myself uh, in front of all of them so yeah i was very excluded good. from my vocal class that way but you proved That's yourself <laughs> yeah. very good and what about you kushbu have you ever been excluded from anything kushbu ma'am yes ma'am actually she is not there okay what about you arush have you ever been excluded from anything no no, you've never felt excluded. You've always been included. I, I have, yes, ma'am. Oh, very nice. That's very good. <laughs> yeah. Actually, excluding, excluding from anything that is not an, in, in a negative way, always take anything in a positive way. Uh, way. Because if you are facing I have your... never experienced excluding also. Okay. Including also, na? including no, in excluding, every excluding 
ओके 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 बिकॉज यू आर टाइपिंग दैट्स व्हाई एंड आफ्टर दैट यू विल आल्सो एक्सक्लूड फ्रॉम इट्स नॉट आई एम टेलिंग बट 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 समटाइम्स वी हैव टू अडॉप्ट ऑल द थिंग्स बिकॉज इट्स इन योर एक्सपीरियंस लेवल सो या because i was in my um, hostel banastri so that time i was facing and um, not from the anywhere but but from the music vocal class because i was the student of just harmonium and after that i proved myself in the music so i sang very well and uh, i received the um, uh, 24 out of 25 okay marks Perfect. in my class the highest marks so Excellent. yeah i felt good that time brilliant well well done. well done for today guys and uh, thank you for sharing uh, those e words with me anand it was lovely to have you in class for the first time looking forward to seeing you again and i hope you have a lovely evening and i'll see you all tomorrow thank you guys thank you chris